A radio station in Denver announced that they had fired a conservative radio show host, canceled his program that he hosted with his wife, because on Wednesday, during the impeachment debate in the House of Representatives, the host, a man by the name of Chuck Bonnewell, actually said the following. He said, you wish for a nice school shooting to interrupt from the never ending impeachment saga happening in the house. You wish for a nice school shooting, Mr. Bonnewell had to say. His wife, the co-host, Julie Hayden, then said, don't even say that. No, don't even say that. Don't call us. Chuck didn't say that. Um, of course, then Chuck said, well, of course, you know, we don't want anyone to actually get hurt. And the radio station didn't hesitate. And they said, well, guess what? You're canceled. And here's the thing. Then later on, they took to Twitter, Mr. Chuck Bonnewell, and he had to say, I made an inappropriate comment meant as a joke. I'm sorry it was not received that way. Um, you're living in a state, Colorado, that has suffered uh, two of the most high profile mass shootings in the history of the United States, Columbine, and then the Aurora movie theater shooting. And then let's also not forget that back in May in Denver, there was another school shooting at a high school. So you're living in a state that has suffered quite a few high profile mass shootings and you think it's appropriate to joke about a nice school shooting to interrupt from the impeachment. Maybe take the heat off Donald Trump a little bit. The sad, sick, twisted part of this story is that's typically how these shootings work. When a mass shooting happens, comes along something like that, the media focuses on nothing but that. It is a good distraction for a day or two and then the public moves on. But that's what's so sick about it. And the NRA prays for mass shootings because every time there's a mass shooting in this country, guess what happens? People run out and buy more guns. The NRA and their donors make more money. And then they pass that money along to politicians who after mass shootings, offer nothing but thoughts and prayers. Now I'm not trying to be the joke police here and say that, oh, there's certain things you can't joke about. There, there certainly are certain things you can't joke about, but this was not a joke. This man was dead serious because he doesn't understand how bad the problem of mass shootings are here in the United States. He is probably typically one of those people who offers the thoughts and prayers and then says, now's not the time to talk about gun control. Now's not the time to talk about expanded background checks. We just have to be there for the families when they need us. And then when they actually need us, not do what they need us to do. This was a disgusting comment made by a disgusting human being that is finally facing the repercussions for his actions. I do not feel sorry in the least bit for Mr. Bonnewell or his conservative program that's no longer in the air, partly because Knowing conservative media, this guy's going to find a new home, a new radio show, possibly even a new web series before the end of the month. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.